Check, 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 check. Big day for the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Why? It's episode. (laughs) Stick them. And fuck you and that nigga came with you. That's not like an alarm clock because I'm still sleeping. I was trying to do like a drum roll. Like a drum roll. Because it's episode 0010. I'm drinking my smoothie. It's uh we're ten straight in. That means we should have we should have been aiming for twelve. Now that I think about it, because twelve episodes is three months, ninety oh. days usually, oh. and usually usually when you get hired, they give you ninety days probation. So mm-hmm. that's we we should have been shooting for for uh yeah. So I know it's like we we got to one accomplishment. Now we shooting for another one. Yeah. But. It's cool. I'm with that. Cause right. We're gonna, we gonna keep doing this till we, you know. So how about how about we we announce uh and we gonna put this on the spot too. How about we announce um a live podcast at episode twelve. One two three. Let's go. We can announce when we gonna have yeah, it. Yeah, I can't wait to do a live podcast. It's gonna be lit. Liddy. Cause you crazy in real life. Real life. Her. The Gemini Scorpio podcast. You already know. Episode 0010. Hi, Bay. Bay Hill. Healer Bay. Sade is here. Yes, sir. J Hill. I'm Bay here. Hill. Mr. KYS himself. Mr. I do all things. Mr. The GOAT. Oh, thank you, Bay. That was mm-hmm. you were amazing too. Wildman is here. The guy Yo. behind the cameras and edit all this. The, the the great editing we had last week. Oh my God. It was just so great. The Great glue, episode. The glue to it all. Alex is here. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, 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 now yeah, yeah. Now I want to yeah. do a jump roll now. Hey, babe, you said you wanted music in a, uh, in a podcast. I do want music because I just want to, you know what, what I'm saying? One, two, three, What song three, would you put in go. there? If you uh, had one song to describe your I, mood right now. Why would I trade up my bitch for a petty what if the? I got a dab? How that money bag, yo? And, and, and um... Black Youngster song go one two three let's go. I what like that? that song. Black Youngster money back yo. Yeah, that shit crank. I don't know. What Why that would thing. I change my bitch for a dime? What the hell is that? Penny. Watch go play. I can't. You know I don't never know the words. Money no bag songs. yo. With Black Youngster. Black Youngster. Yeah, it's on his new. You know what I'm saying? That new is it team. Black Youngster and Money Bag Yo? Or? No, it's on his. Uh, it's on Money Bag Yo thing. The same one album where you be playing, bitch. You play. Oh. It's on, it's on that same um. Money bag yo. Let me yeah. see. One. So this was you would say this describes you. You said my move right now. One, two, three, let's go. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, let's go. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hit that. Ah, uh, all right, all right, all right, okay. Okay, all right. Yeah, I like... that shit was my move. Yeah, y'all right, like that's that, all, that boom, right. boom, boom, say less, say less. I don't know the words yet, but I'm going to get them down because I wanted to sing along with that, period, boom. All right, we got everything in the, um, we got everything in the, in our notes. In the notes. Woo, child. Sheesh, I ain't going to lie, hitting that hookah got me a little, I hit that shit too hard. Pause. What? The hookah. Oh, let me see what the fuck is going God, on. As you know, Catch 22 on the vibes. Bel Air, we couldn't get the Bel Air uh, bottle, so we just had to put it for the hookah. I yeah. know. <laughs> you got to hit that shit a little bit harder, because you ain't. We know what you could have got, got paid for. What? To pull? Hey, hey, sheesh. What, the hookah? Yeah. You know how they be doing stuff like you get paid to try all the hot, hot oh, wings? Oh, my God. Oh, 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 wait. Hold up. You I'm mean, saying like. You not with they... me. Maybe in a previous life, babe. All right, previous life. Because I'm like, she could have got paid to do that. She's like, you know what? It paid to try the hot wings. Maybe you could get paid you to try to hookahs. suck on hookahs and shit. One, two, three, let's go. Mm, mm. Come on. What's up? What's happening, babe? Right, you first today because you know what the fuck. About getting shit popping. It was getting popping. I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm still waking up. I drove from Jersey. I got home almost at four o'clock in the morning, so I'm like very tired. But I'm up. But I'm tired. So just. What you go with to Jersey me. for? 
You know, it's my sister's birthday today. Shout out to my sister. Happy birthday, Quan. You're my twin, my older sister by year. She a Capricorn? She is a Capricorn. She thorough, though. That's my dog. Went to Jersey. Didn't stay in Jersey. Won't go on the why. But I ended up going to Jersey and coming right back. Oh, so, so you ain't going to tell us what happened, huh? huh? You know. She you got crazy. Shit got crazy, you know. We, you know, since we talk about, you know, all through relationships, you know, I'm gonna touch on it eventually. eventually. Not her, but it, the yeah, yeah, yeah. it generalized. You feel what I'm saying? But long story short, it's my sister's birthday. Shout out to her. Happy 30th birthday, baby girl. Remember we used to pull from the hat, the um zodiac, the zodiac signs. Yes, sir. You so you know about because you were very close to a Capricorn. What's some signs about Capricorns? Without putting your sister Capricorns, in it, I guess. Okay, so some things about Capricorn, because she's not, I'm also close to another girl who's a Capricorn. Shout out to Steph. Her birthday was last week. She was in Iceland. Happy birthday, Steph. Steph? But, yeah, Stephanie. Okay. Um, Steph Leva, Miss Gutierrez on Instagram, Peel. Um, so one thing I know about Capricorns is um, they're very hardworking. They love to work. Um, they're also the more low-key, but... Is they're low key, but they're turnt on the low mm. signs. So like they're like very um, chill. They are like a really good vibe, kind of social butterfly. But it's really mellow. But for real, for real, they're really turnt people underneath all of it. So like you know, their extremes are very high, but their their exterior is very mellow. If that makes sense. All right, so look, let's let's take it back for a little bit. Yeah, LeBron is a Capricorn. Damn. The goat. He's he's very like mellow, I guess. Yeah, he's, he's, like, but he be turned though. Yeah. Taco Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? He be turned. So let's so, let's let's take it back for a second. All right, we on we on horoscopes. You gonna read it? Because I sure, can't see. Come on. Go ahead, let's see. Mm, you know I can't see either, but so today the people around you could seem much more serious than usual, Capricorn. You can never even decide to get away from them and go hide out just for the day. For example, in a movie theater watching after watching an afternoon film, but you won't find the movie you want to see. Don't try and run away from the gravity of the moment. You may become even more serious than the people you are running away from. Pow. And I think that goes hand in hand with the Capricorn wow. in my life. Um, I just think like it says, um, you know, don't look to, don't look so serious into things because it might be something that you don't really want you gotta you know just take things mellow take your time with things and you know you might see that if you don't do that you end up being more serious in the long run so take your time that's what i'm getting out of it take your time with everything okay so you think like capricorns jump in straight jump straight into things and they, they don't sometimes they don't Sometimes they don't think, uh, hey, yo, what the fuck, bro? You about to start. They need to pay you for sucking on that hookah like that because you do that shit too. Why you got to say it like that, sucking on a hookah like that? Because you like sucking that. the you shit out that hookah. You always say things so raunchy. You sucking the shit sucking out Sucking the shit. Sucking the shit. Hold on, one more. Sucking the shit out that hookah. What you got to say? Moment of silence for that fucking... Oh, all right. Love you, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you um, I love you too, babe. You don't say. Mm -hmm. I don't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still getting used to this. I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. I actually do say stuff. That's what. what I, that should be. That should be my 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 uh topic. Do you like when your man make noises in the bedroom? But we ain't gonna talk about that. Facts. You like that shit? You be getting into that kinky shit. <sighs> You know, but I'm I'm real funny about certain things. Like, so I don't like, I don't like men doing things that girls do. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Shit. Please don't do that. Fuck! Oh <sighs> shit! I that don't motivate you. I'm uncomfortable. That don't motivate you to go <laughs> harder. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm uncomfortable because. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh, is that, 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 I thought that motivate girls to keep going. Nah, I don't like that, like, aggressive. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you want to say something in my ear, like, real low. Shh, shh, shh. Not, not, not gay, though. Let me not like. Something. Yeah, like, but, like, in your own voice. Because, like, I like your voice. Like, in your own voice. It don't got to be. Don't do it in the mic. Yeah, girl. You know what I like. <laughs> you, know like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But nothing, like, all I don't never, extra. I don't never ask you who, 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 uh. Who pussy is this though? Cause you fuck around, <sighs> fuck me up one day. I'm like, whoa, who pussy is this? Deontay? What the who fuck? The fuck is who the fuck is that? I just, I'm just saying, I don't, I'm just saying, I don't ask questions 
that can lead down a wrong path because if I ask a question, you answer it honestly, and I'm gonna be hurt. I'm gonna be upset Where about that. Where the fuck are we? Because I feel like I'm in the fucking twilight. No, I'm saying that's why I don't ask these out questions. Out of all the things that you could have said, you came on here and said, "I don't want to ask you who pussies is because it might who pussy is Deontay." Who I mean, say, I'm saying I'm smart. I don't know. But you always throwing in some extra nigga like. I thought you was going to say, I don't got to ask you because I know it's mine. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing. But here you go, because it could be Deontay's. <laughs> like, that fuck? nigga, your co-worker at work that I don't know about. <laughs> listen, this we ain't about really, to say. This listen, is one, really the shit he be thinking about. We, we ain't about to sit here. I'm so, I we, just. I'm we not just, about to sit here and act like people don't have two different lives. Like, you work. I think your, your co-workers see you more than I do. So we're not about to sit up and act like it. You know what I'm saying? Like it I don't might have be a, a lot of male coworkers first and foremost. So we could already scratch that. I work with a lot. Deontay be at the fucking door waiting for at the door. Who like the fuck you is like Deontay. You like, like oatmeal? I don't even like that name. You like oatmeal for breakfast. I got your oatmeal ready. Bro. I you actually like, eat potatoes and bacon for breakfast. I told you that. He probably Gangs. see, but that nigga probably he he probably know that. See, I don't know that. Who the fuck is Deontay? And then? you probably don't have to tell a nigga that because he know that for sure. So he what probably waiting the, at the door. What about the girls that be waiting for you at the door? Where? At Euphoria. Them bitches ratchet. I go you to love the, that shit. I go to Euphoria. You love that shit. I go to Stop. Euphoria. I he feel like I'm in shit. the ghetto. Ra, da, da, da. Jay love that shit. He love <laughs> that ratchet shit. Nah, shout Euphoria every Friday. You already know, man. Stop he love that ratchet shit. You know, on one, two, three, let's go. It was like, you know what I'm saying? Why I trade him for my, 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 why I trade my bougie bitch in for a ratchet? Hey, that's, a, can we get into this podcast though? Mm. So I want to, I want to talk about jealousy in a relationship. Oh, let's go. All right. So I guess I want to. Like know. how you just brought up fucking Deontay. Who the fuck is Deontay? So I, so, all right, since we're going to be honest, um, do you get, do you be jealous in your relationship sometimes? Yeah, let me ask you that. Fuck that. Do you, do you get why you jealous? Go, let me ask you that. Fuck that. Um, of course I do. What you? Oh, 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 oh shit! Shit! <laughs> oh shit! This is childish. Damn! You he's, get jealous of me, baby? He's being childish today. You get jealous of me? Yeah. Fuck no! How about I what? I get jealous sometimes. How about what? Just like other things, like you know what I'm saying. Like he'd be like, for example, he was on the radio the other day. I'm in the car, boom! Oh, here go Bay on the radio. What's up, Kaylee? To see you, baby. What the Who? fuck? Who? I don't know her name. I just made the K- Kalisa up. I don't know that, it, but like it was a name. I was giving somebody a shout out when you got jealous. But he'd be like, "Yeah, I see you, baby. Some, some extra pretty. I see you, baby." He be doing that show on the mic in the club too. Yeah, girl, I see you, baby. I'd be like, "Damn, it ain't no healer, babe. I see you, baby, girl. Love you." Cause you ain't on an Instagram live checking in. I do be on Instagram. See, if you was on you don't Inst- even know I be if, on there. That's, that's the problem. But, but, but as soon as somebody else check in, you be like, I see you, baby. Duh. Because if I don't know you're you on it, there, I don't. The fact that you call other girls baby, like, you know so what I'm saying? You, I know it's a part of the, you know, it's a it's a cultural term. Like, like, oh, thank you, baby. But like, it's like, I see you, baby. What you see? Oh, you so don't you, see nobody. You see me. So like, you, are, you don't see nothing. You're blind. The only person you can see is me. <laughs> that's my that's my always too but. sleep for all right this. all right so all right <laughs> so you get jealous of the baby part so not nah, like i'm just saying hypotheticals like i get jealous over little things like you know um i don't like when he be giving other girls advice i don't like that either like i be getting jealous about that like but you don't like, listen to yeah but you're gonna go so you're gonna me, go you're gonna, give, a, you're gonna give somebody else advice who you think listens to you but you don't listen i don't even like the fact that bitches listen to you wait but why don't you listen to me why other bitches listening to you? Because clearly they, I mean, clearly they feel like I have something clearly they important, feel like- not even important that my, my word is bond. That's, and that's the, that's the motherfucking conversation we should have. Cause I feel like my woman don't even feel like my word is bond, but these other bitches be like, you know what? That's a great these idea. These other bitches be like, you know what? That's a great idea. I didn't mean to say it like that, but you are something. No, 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 no. Go ahead, say how you mean it, because these other bitches listen to me. You, you heard? They love what the fuck I got to say. <laughs> nah, nah, not like that. So, but you um, said these other bitches listen to me. Why don't you? No, I, no, I'm. Why? Saying... What type of? Can we start over? Like, shut the whole pot. I want to start over. I don't like how this is coming in. All right, no, 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 no. So what I'm saying is, you say you get jealous of me giving other girls advice, mm-hmm. and I'm just asking. Why I give you the same amount, if not more, advice? Why don't you listen to my advice? <clears throat> I do listen to some things. Okay. Like I listen to some things, but I'm also my own person. So everything you say, I'm not gonna be like, okay, yeah. Like some things, I have already my own thought process on. Doesn't mean your, it doesn't mean your word is in bond. It's just that I trust myself too. But you'll go, you'll trust yourself, and then go out 
our relationship and get advice from another nigga. I never get advice from niggas. What niggas do I get advice from? You're a motherfucking liar. Who? Should I put the nigga name out there? I don't care. It can't be that... Like who do I get? Well, you was trying to you was trying to get your uh your app done, right? I was telling you what you should do. I'm like, yo, you should do it like this. And then you came to me and was like, yeah, because I talked to one guy. He was like, da 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 da. I'm like, you got a fucking okay, nerve. Okay, so that's like me asking a carpenter how to fucking car- fucking put in a carpet. Like, do you put in carpets? But guess what? What would I do? Do you put do in I carpets? Put in fucking carpets. No. All right. So look. Right, what-, what I'm saying is, like, it's like going to the fucking, you know, I don't know, a travel agent asking about travel. And they know the answer. Do you book travel? But, no. But look, so the thing about it is, what, but guess what? I can travel a lot and not book travels, but still can give you some good advice because I got got the experience. So what so we're you talking made about? An app before? I haven't made an app, but I've made a brand. I've made a successful brand. So but the fact that those weren't the questions I was no, looking for. No, it, it, but it is though because again, it the advice that I was giving you, the advice that I was giving you, it, it, it fell out. How how the in the end, what happened was exactly what I was trying. I not to have it. I don't think it exactly happened. What? Happened. I was like, yo, the app is very valid expensive. Points. I, think I said, you, oh, my bad, go ahead. I think you had some valid points, but I also think that I just, that's not the answer. That's not what, I, when I was talking about it and when I asked that person about the app, the answers that you gave me weren't the ones I was looking for. Exactly. That that's but, And guess what? what? In life, everything that you're looking for ain't what you need all the time, right? We just talked about that as a topic. So like you're, you might be looking for one thing, right? And because I love you and I and I know exactly what you're looking for, I can give you the real. And because they don't know, they're going to give you what you or That might be what you want because that's just what, what it is. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it is what it is. So I'm telling you the real. I'm like, yo, the app is expensive as shit, one. I'm like, yo, I'm not getting into the into works of creating the app and maybe he could have gave you... But that's what I was looking right, but, I was really... My only questions at that time, clearly... They, uh, duh, it's expensive. We all know that. I don't think nobody doesn't here know that engineering costs. Like, I was more so the details underneath of it, you, of building it. I don't think you knew that. And you, no, not even that, though. You wanted, uh, like, a shortcut way. And I'm like, yo, babe, getting an app is very expensive. Matter of fact, I, I got... I want a shortcut way. So here you are. You up here already misinterpreting my character of what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. All right, cool. That's not what you want. I'm not going to say that's what you wanted. You wanted to make an app. I'm like, man, the app is expensive. I'm like, yo, how about you do this? Going back to our, going way, way back. I said, yo, you like your quotes? Create a Twitter first. Create your Twitter and and take the, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say this. This is how I did it. But Rob mm-hmm. Hill, right? He used to post quotes. I'm like, yo, take your Twitter, tweet your, tweet your quotes, right? And then screenshot it, put on your Instagram. Create an Instagram for your, uh, for your brand or whatever so only your quotes can be on instagram i'm like from there if you don't like that create a website because you can create a website through wix instead of trying to go through the app be like nah 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 so you went to this one guy you brought me the information back and i'm like all right bet cool you know what i'm saying like i, I ain't say nothing but i'm like that's fucked up that i'm telling you but you're not listening but you listen to this, this next nigga right i didn't listen to him i was gathering information so why the like, fuck I you bring that back to me like I, yeah because what's the name said because i was gathering information and the the information that i was telling you that i heard from him it was just to let you know what i heard it wasn't that i was taking any side because realistically both y'all niggas was wrong i wasn't wrong though but what because in what, the end it, no, it was, that's was not show. but that's not it wasn't, but the expense wasn't what you were telling me that I didn't I know. Did. I did. That's saying, not what I didn't but I was know. Less, I knew like, how much it was. It was the same per- price that he said. Like, n- nothing was different there. I was just, that wasn't my issue. But if you want to go into the details of that, sure. The overall generalized thing, I do listen to you sometimes. It doesn't have anything to do with that. No, I'm my own person. I don't listen to nobody 100% of the time. Okay. I don't. The right. only person I listen to 100%, not even, I'd say God, but even then we're stubborn sometimes and he got to reroute us. So I can't say that push. I'm a listen to everything you say. If you want a fucking yes man bitch that does listen to everything you say, you said you got a group of bitches lined up. Go talk to them. Uh, not that, babe. That's only, what the you only said. Not... You was like, because these bitches listen to me. They like what the fuck no, I I'm got sa- to say. No, I'm saying. They, my word is bond. If you want to no, go I'm talk saying, to if... a yesy, yesy, oh, this is what you say, poppy type of, you know. You know, yes. you know, hop on one foot, yes. twirl. Why you hopping on one foot, head ass bitch? Then go do that. Shit, I mean, it wouldn't be as fun. Nah. Anyway, what I was saying. So, so let's talk about how. No, nah, what I was saying about, was nah, before we got into, I didn't even want to go. See, this is me. this is how our conversation go, right? In, in real life, I'll be like, yo, I'll give her an example, and I might not even want to go into that example because I know it's gonna but go somewhere else. Do that. No, I said 
you listen to guys too. The first thing she said was, I never listen to no but nigga. That's not, but but okay. that is, that's exactly okay, so what you listen you to how, a nigga. So if you'd have owned, if you'd have, hold, if you'd have owned up to it from the beginning, I wouldn't have had to go into the example. Because you're like, you know what? I listen to, to like one guy. I your, your, your verbiage, right? Because you said I give, first of all, you have multiple female friends that you go to and advice for something on your personal life, whether it's your work, whether it's, you know. I get advice uh, Yes, yes, you do. Or you May tell them how you feel. Honestly, I'm gonna keep it hundred. I'm a little stubborn. You told so you might really told your little therapist friend about our problems before. Sorry. Getting advice. That was exactly. two years ago when we That's first fine. Got into it. That's fine. But my point is I'm not going to ask nobody. Like, I'm not going to be like, hey, you know, I'm looking for advice on how I'm asking one specific it's no different than calling a clothing store and be like, hey, I'm looking at uh these two brands, can you tell me one which has the better material? Because they work there. It's no different. I'm What's not that? like calling the department store like, you know, I've really been trying to start. And, you know, da-da-da. What do you think? I'm not calling nobody on those terms. Respect, There's no man. guy that I'm calling on those terms. Now, what I will say, I've seen you get work advice, get whatever from your female friends. And I'm not saying it's wrong. I You asked me, the question was, do you get jealous? I said, yeah, sometimes I get jealous when you get uh, advice or get or give advice from other females. Respect. Yes, I do. And I'm not arguing none of that. The difference between us, I feel like when it comes back to, we talk about this every fucking episode, accountability and delusional. So the first, I said, I said, yo, Call you've gotten, delusional. I said, you've gotten advice from guys before. The I first haven't. thing you said, but you, we just. That's not advice to me. That's the same thing. That's again, that I can call. That's so advice. If, 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 if I call, if I ask you about a shoe before I call Foot Locker, is that you call a Foot That's Locker? Advice. You're not going to be like, no. you call Foot Locker and got advice from Foot Locker before you no, all call me about a shoe. No. You don't know. I'm you don't saying, sell the shoe. You don't know is, the shoe. Like, all, what the can, fuck does that like matter? Can, all I'm saying is we can agree to. All right. That's advice. Me, the level of right, advice, if, I'm okay. just saying it's advice. It's advice. It is, I asked though. a question, but a qu asking a question and getting advice to me is two separate things. You're Two getting seconds. insight on something that's advice. Asking a question getting insight. on a price on the, it's completely true. I didn't get any insight. I asked a direct question. All right, cool. What, to what me, was the that's question? not. What was the question? Yo, what site did you use to build your app from? All right, bet. Okay. What's that's that? not advice. That's not advice. All right, cool. Okay. And how much did it cost you? That's not art. That's not advice. I mean, it if it's not advisement, I don't know what advisement is. No, that's a question. No different if I ask the girl where she got her shirt from. Is that advice if I should buy the shirt or should I get the green one over the blue? Or do you think I should go to Nordstrom's instead of getting it from TJ Maxx? Or if I should go to, you know, do you think this one fits me well? Should I get a short sleeve or a long sleeve? Do I need a turtleneck? Or right, that's so, not advice. So, so let me ask me something. asking you, yo, where you get your shirt from? TJ Maxx. Oh, okay, cool. All that's right. not advice. Right. That's all right. So no, no, that's that, that, that's that, no, that's not where it ends because that's fair. Right. Asking somebody saying, "Yo, where you get your shirt from?" is totally different from I'm trying to I'm trying to build a company, right? So I, I'm I'm looking to find out where you got your company from. I'm trying to understand. So to I me, wasn't, but you're making it about that. I wasn't right, trying to understand. Right. To me, if it's not. not it's if cool. I could be trying to change my wardrobe, I'm going to keep putting it into the shirt. If I'm trying to change my wardrobe and I'm looking to reconstruct my closet, I see a shirt I like or somebody I know that I'm like, yo, where you got that shirt from? How much was it? Oh, all right. I'm going to go back in my own mind and be like, okay, now I'm going to compare it to whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna ask, I didn't ask I, no advisement, no counsel, no nothing. The cool. question was very direct. Fair. So I think advice well, is when you ask, if I'm asking somebody one or the other is advice. So if you ask somebody. I didn't ask one or the other. I know, though. I know, I know. If I'm asking somebody one or the other is advice. Also, if I'm asking somebody something to compare from one or the other is still advice to Am me. I comparing with them? No. You're Am not I comparing, comparing with them? by no. myself? Listen, then that's Shane, not advice. So, I'm in, I so, advise so, myself. So what, I'm a real I'm nigga. I can is, talk to myself. What I'm saying is you have to under, you have to accept somebody else's answer. So I'm telling you, I know, I said, okay, a hundred right, times. Cool, and I said, cool. from me, I look at advice as I, it's no different from me asking from somebody from one or the other or okay. me asking somebody one thing so I can compare it with myself. Okay. I'm saying that's... That's, that's advice for you. Yeah. So then don't tell me to hold myself accountable on your definition cool, of advice. Cool, and that's respect Because that's what you did. And I, if I, was, I'm if I felt I'm like it was advice... Right, all right, I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying. If I felt like it was advice, I'd take accountability, accountability. But because I didn't get shit... I didn't, I didn't learn anything new. I, that's not advice. You did me. learn something no, new. No, I just know the company. That's not my, what, what website you build your, your website from Wix. Okay, cool. Right, what bet. the fuck? That ain't nothing. To All me. Right, respect, respect. I know other people who do that. Like, that's not advice. All right. That's an answer. Okay, cool. So no, I can't hold myself accountable for something that to me is not my definition. That's your definition. All right, man. You still went to Boom. somebody that had experience to find out some things oh, that you didn't know. Oh so sure. again, y'all can choose. But, but um, what I was going to say is. Just like I get advice from 
I, I, I don't what even, are you jealous about? I gave you one thing I'm jealous about. What am do, I you jealous? Get, are, do you get jealous or like? Hell yeah, I get jealous about like dumb shit to me. Like I get jealous about the fact that, I don't know, there's a couple things. I get jealous of the fact that you have, uh, uh, like your, your schedule is like more concise than mine. You gonna pay attention or not? I'm paying attention. Oh, all right, all right. It was the group chat. It was the, it was the group chat for the, for wow. the podcast. So, so I get jealous of the fact that like, like your your schedule is like more contingent on mine. Like you can have a set schedule, go to work at this time, get off at this time. I be irritated as shit. Like I want to do that. I want to be able to do that. Uh, so you get jealous, like not over me, but compared to me. That's what the, that was my question. Like, do you get jealous of your? Your- oh, I thought you meant like, do you get jealous in a relationship? No, I didn't know you meant like, do you get jealous of your partner? Of your partner? Oh, wow. Okay. So let that's me. A whole, that's, a, that's a whole different. I so didn't. You, I didn't, so I didn't know that. Jealous of me. That's why I said um, my answer because I didn't know your answer was your question was based off. Do we get jealous of like each other, of yeah. each other, not over each other? Um, nah, nah. I never got jealous of you. I'm sorry. I know, yeah, no. I think he was gonna lie. I'm not lying. I'm dead serious. Like you're a man. I'm a female. Like I like like I don't like I would it I I never really got jealous over you. But this is good to know. Like what's wrong with this? There's I'm sure there's things that I've done uh, over you that you don't do. This is just one of them. I never really felt the feeling of jealousy. All right. I got irritated by you though. More, like um, numerous like you know just with like your timing your work schedule and stuff like that but i don't get jealous over it like i don't like ah, i wish i was an entrepreneur and be mad all day no you've came to me and said that you wish that you didn't have to work uh concise no, like, I'm not, I'm not just like you said like you've came to me and said you wish that you could have like uh be on your own time that was that's wishful thinking that's not a jealousy it measure, can be though. jealous though but for me i'm not jealous over it uh, yeah there's tons of things i wish i could do i wish i could travel as much as my friends travel right now i have a kid i can't do that it doesn't make me envious or jealous over them though it's just something it can, that though. i wish but i'm letting you know it's not a, it doesn't come from a jealous place with me it's a wishful thinking place with me okay. so if i say like you know and maybe that could be the same for you and yeah, you're that's tying what I'm it looking into at, jealous yeah, like, I'm looking at it like but that. i don't think it's a jealousy thing like there's things that uh, there's characteristics of uh, you that I, i'm like damn i wish i had the character right. but it doesn't make cool. me jealous but over you it i'm content you do, know, like, you do know that jealousy and envy don't always have to be a negative word. i do know that but if i don't feel like i have neither one in my spirit that's just not that i don't all right let's look up the word envy Go ahead. let's look it up real quick uh envy Shit. yo man because i'm not jealous of him he's jealous of me <laughs> oh, it's the, honestly yo, my jealousy. definition of what i'm saying right, is the same right, thing as what you just said read the definition it says a feeling of uh Discontented, what? Discontent or resentful. Oh, discontented, yeah. <laughs> or or feeling, resentful. All right, a, di- a, a feeling of discontented or resentful longing aroused, aroused by, someone. by someone else's possessions. possessions or qualities. Yeah, I don't have that. I'm not envious. I'm not discontented. It don't have to be re- And resentful. I'm not resentful, but that's what it is. <laughs> How are you going to say the definition? I'm saying, no, it, it says don't or. It says that. either or. Yeah, but discontent and uh, resentment is a negative notion. Like, I'm not neither of those. Now, now do, now do dissatisfied, especially with one circumstances. I'm not right. So if you can't, that, like, I'm not dissatisfied. So if you can't, though, so if you can't travel a lot, that don't mean that you're dissatisfied with your circumstances. I think it's wishful thinking. Okay, like Respect. you know what I'm saying. Like so it's I not guess like I never is, traveled. I've traveled a lot in my life. If I'm not traveling right, right now, so let me change my question. Doesn't then. mean is that some things I'm that, like, dis- that that like dissatisfied with my life. Respect. Do you think it's some things that I do that you wish you could do? Cause I feel like for me, I that wouldn't be jealous either. Cause I'm just saying that, that I, I wish I had that. a, I wish I had a, uh, I wish I could have a, a strict schedule, more consent schedule. Uh, there, so is there something of you uh, or that you do that I wish that I could do? Yeah. AKA jealousy, but okay. It's not. <laughs> All right. But honestly, <clears throat> babe, no. <laughs> you literally just said I, sometimes I wish I can travel like yeah, your friends yeah, but that's not you like that like so for example you literally came things- to me one time and said yeah i wish i could have make my own schedule like you literally he- came to me and said okay that. but that doesn't mean i feel that way all the time that's not like a longing energy that i feel i don't i always- don't feel like this all okay the time either. but what i'm saying is that's name not my over I, right, I'm, I'm, like instances. why are you getting upset because i don't have them upset. like for example i might come home from work 
It's been a long day, and I say to you, damn, I wish like I could make my schedule like you. That's just that, but it's not like an overall generalized right. feeling that I so have. So this is not an overall that, generalized feeling. So, so a either. feeling that I might have had before. Yes. Over you. Yes. Can we please just be open? And be but okay, but because okay, what you're not gonna do is because I don't have an answer. Say I'm not being open and transparent because nope. it's not for the camera. If I really had one right now, trust me, I am very transparent wait, on the camera saying... and uh, very authentic. I have no problem wait, wait, saying wait, that. Wait, wait, but because when you stop, personal. no, I'm not taking it personal. But when you say, can we please just be open and transparent? First of all, that's your assumption that I'm not being that okay because you don't need to say that because I'm gonna do that I'm gonna say it myself regardless like you don't have to be like can we just be open and transparent I'm not this is what the podcast no, go left no it's not left it's just that I think that's rude to say I apologize if it's rude. you don't have I to apologize I'm but sorry I'm just letting you know but when you say that again that's putting a notion on me that Babe, I'm not being I'm transparent we go or into I'm not being that, I'm just saying my bad because I probably right. wasn't trying to make all right me. cool so um <laughs> I really don't know. Like, I've had feelings maybe, like I said, like you said, maybe I, I felt like I wish I had, like, could make my own schedule sometimes or, like, but that's really just so we could mesh our schedules together. That's not, like, a thing that, like, I don't know. Like, you, like we don't share all the same interests. Now, so, I like, feel you, it's just because we, because we had conversations when you was like, okay, yo, I don't want to. Okay, one, bring one. Exactly. And I'll tell you, because that, even that. That's, so, right, I don't so to me, come to you like that all so the time. To me, so like, to me, that's right? Like one so off. to me, you just can't. You was like, um, yeah, I, I, I wish I could have my own schedule. That's so we can, so we can have more time together. When to but me, it, so hold up, to me, right? So just don't get upset with my experience of how I interpreted things from what you said. So that wasn't the case. You've never came to me and said, yo, you know what? I wish I can um create my own schedule so we can have more time. The time that you came to me was because like you didn't feel like going to work or something, or you didn't feel like getting up early. Okay. It was like. So to me, that's totally different. So when you say, nah, I, I only want to create my own schedule so we can have more time when you ain't, that wasn't what you came to me about. Okay, either way, like, I don't, okay. <laughs> like, I mean, like, either one, I just feel like, it still doesn't notate that I wish that your life was mine in any no, way. No, that's not what I'm saying. Though. But I'm like, saying I'm instances, saying that, okay, like instances, certain instances. But like, I don't, it's, I don't know, Jay. I don't know if this All right, so I'll tell you my answer. It's fine. It's okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll be the one to tell you my answer. See, exactly. I'll be the one. It's not that I'm not being a one. It's that I don't have the, like, I don't really think I have those feelings often enough over you. All There's right. things that I feel them over, though, that I can tell you, but like not what? over right. you. Well, not over like, you. Now we only yeah, like, if it's, it's not cool. over, I just don't feel that way Respect. about you. I'm right. sorry. All like, right, cool. So it's I don't. Things but there's things like I do, like I said, like one for me is travel. Like I sometimes I do get very because I used to travel a lot. My life is not in the same space where I can travel as freely and as comfortably as I used to. Respect. My expenses done went up. Like cool. my child's well, expensive as hell. So that's one that, thing you just asked me. No, so I'm that's saying? one thing when I see like my friends or like girls on Instagram constantly going on trips, I'll be like, damn, that's something I will say. I do get hey, jealous right. over. Right, and I'm saying to, you know like, what I mean? keep the conversation going. We're not talking about that. We're talking about me and you. So, but that's what I'm saying. I don't have. You, right. said, you just said no. okay. We'll say something. You know what I said? That's never why mind. I said that. I, I went back and I said, never, I retracted my statement because I'm like, my bad. We're not talking about that. We only talk about me and you. All right, cool. So, all right, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a say the ones I feel, I feel like. All right, so sometimes I feel like I wish I could have a a, a more strict schedule. Like, not strict, but like a calculated schedule where I know when exactly I'm going, what I'm going to get paid. You know, just the, the nine to five thing that, that some entrepreneurs feel I like at, at times. And, I work seven at 3.30, by the way, guys. I don't work nine to five. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I just got to say that because, you know, there's a thing running around on Twitter. Like, they like, which schedule would you rather have? Nine to five, 10 to seven, seven to three, like whatever. So seven I just like, sure I, would I just like to clarify. I don't work nine to five. I work seven to 3.30. Cool. It's supposed um, to be 6.30 to three, but I'm never on time. So is it anything else? Uh, I think that's really probably my only thing because I'd be like, man, damn, I wish I knew when I was going to get paid or, uh, I mean, well, now I have a job and I know I'm going to get paid, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not full time. So it's like, I don't know when I'm going to work. So it's kind of still entrepreneurial shit. I mean, yeah, all your stuff is entrepreneurial stuff. Yeah, so I mean, I think that's one. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> is it another one? Let me think. Let me think deep. I'm gonna think deeply. Uh, sheesh. Um. Oh, your uh, your moms. I feel like you and your moms got a uh, uh, interesting relationship because I don't want to take away from your feelings or how you feel about your situation either. But I feel like. You have a lot of support from your parents, from your moms. I kind of, I, sometimes I wish I had, I could have as much support from my moms. And that's, it's just situations are different. That's crazy. Okay, so that one we could talk about. I feel the opposite. I feel like I wish I had a mom who could call me every day. Like your mom calls you. What? That's not one I think, but that's something like, why, why you brought it up? I could say that. Like, I'm like, nah, like, I've said that before. 
But that's not like that's what I'm saying. I've said that. Like, what are we smiling at? I don't I'm care. just laughing because I no, because I don't like that's not like a feeling like on my like I don't sit back and be sitting there sitting but that's, like I damn. I like, I, but but yeah, but like if you're all right, you put you're, you're asking me something on the spot, right? Because mm-hmm. I don't feel it no, all right, the time. 100%. That's not something I'm gonna just like jump up. So like, oh, but you brought it up. I'm like, okay, you know what? Right. I will say so. It makes transparent sense. So, being that one who could come out and be like, hold on, that's and I'm, one. And I'm saying you're right because what happens is because I asked the question, it's, it's probably already on my mind, so I probably right. can give you the answers. All right, cool. All right, so but that's one, like, right, like how you say I get support from my mom, mm-hmm. like, you know what I mean? I feel like you know the d- dynamic that I would. I want from my parent that like support, like, you know, help, I don't know, financially with my kid or whatever. That sounds good for certain people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Of course, not understanding the, the dynamic of where me and my mom come from, mm-hmm. but I would much rather time over finances. So like I would much rather call my mom, call me every day and say, you know, I love you. I'm proud of you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you say you want help financially. I can't tell you the time my mom really ever said she's proud. You right. know what I'm saying? So to me, yeah, the, that a lot. exactly. You get that a lot. Like your mom's always like, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you every day. Right. You know what I mean? Versus my mom, like, you know, here, $80, go get so some toiletries. How, do, like, how you know does that mean? make you feel though? Like, does it make you feel like that you're, you're not, this might not be a real word, but like mm-hmm. proud, worthy, like. Um, I think like all those type of things, like, you know, whatever you deemed with, like through your childhood, it sticks with you at some point. Yeah. I think that because my mom doesn't, or that's not her love language. Like that's never how she loved on me. Um, that's something I think I always yearn for getting older. Like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody telling me, you know, when I'm doing the right things that they're proud or just, you know, admiring what I do, whatever, which is why with my daughter, like I praise her heavily when, like to tell her I'm proud of her or to tell her these things because I know it is important to hear it from your parent. I guess. So do you think that's that, that trickles down into our relationship? So a lot of times I'll, I don't say I'm proud of you. I'm always like, yo, do this so you can get better. Do this so we can it can it can be, I don't know, better instead of saying I'm proud of you, babe. Do you think because of the relationship, the, dy- the n- dynamic of the relationship with you and your moms, it kind of trickles down into your relationship and prior relationships as well? I think that's everybody. I think everything trickles into your relationship that you you're molded by. So like everything. Like so how how, how do we get how do we how do we try to fix this with ourselves? Right, like we say. We look in the mirror and be like, you know what, man? So my mom's never told me I'm proud, but let me not put that on my boyfriend. Um, I don't think like even when you say like put that on my boyfriend, I think people put that on themselves. So it's like it's one of those things where like, you know, mine might be proud, but yours could be something else like or anybody's could be something else. I think that's just something we carry with us in, internally. And as we go through our journey and we heal different parts of ourselves, it just becomes naturally uh, a, an accepting things of not need. Like for me, if it's proud, I don't need to hear it from you as much because I'm learning to accept that everybody isn't going to always see, you know, or feel and walk in your shoes to say they're proud or that to be good enough for them, but always be good enough for yourself. And as you practice these things, you do desire it less and less from the person or you don't need it as much. So, but I think that's with everybody. Like we all have that thing that, or, or something or things that we carry from just our, you know, our parents and how we were molded and how we were loved growing up. So we take those into relationships by default. It's not just relationships, it's friendships you know what I mean? Like it's, you know, it's all of them. So I think just as we continually do our journey, we, we, we fix those unintentionally. Like, right. I think. So, so what up, man? Yeah. We, uh, we in the middle of the. What the fuck are we, po- what the hell is going on? The podcast now. Uh, that's cool. I'm just, anybody can come get me. I'm ready to pull up. All right, bet. Uh, just, uh, text me when you're here. All right. All right. But now I think, um, I feel like. Who's answer? What the hell? Because I mean, he said he was on his yet. way. He said he was on his way. So Be I want. Be time then. <laughs> so look, uh, I think that because we definitely had an argument about that, about how uh, like me not saying I'm proud of you or like just affirm affirmation. Affirmation. And it's I my love like, language. Yeah, and I feel like that comes, but that comes from the relationship that you had with you and your parents. Yeah. And I feel like with me, something that came from the first thing I said. Well, the second thing I said was, you know, I wish my mom's was was able to give me the financial help that I, I needed when I was growing up, right? Mm-hmm. And that goes into how I am now. So now you probably would never, you probably would never not catch me working because I'm never, I don't want to be the one to not be able to find help my kids 
financially, right? Mm -hmm. And then what that goes into my relationship now. Now I don't have the extra time to be there. They be like, I'm proud because what? I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be the one to not have the finances to help my family or yeah. to help my child when they need it, right? Yeah. And I feel like that goes into our yeah. relationship. But my, I'm curious to know how can we look at that and say, all right, my mom's for me it would be like my mom's didn't um my mom's wasn't able to financially help me growing up, right? So instead of me overworking myself, let me have a balance of doing what she was doing for me because that actually, that had, that had a great uh, impact on my life as well. Being supportive, just saying that she loved me, saying she uh, she's proud of me. Let me have a, a good balance of that and working so I can be there financially for my family. Right. And I feel like uh, that kind of goes into the question that we was going to talk about, but that you wanted to talk about though. Um, kind of. What? Not really. You was talking. Oh, not. Yeah. I'm, oh, so you mean, that's you my mean, answer though. So. Oh, that's your answer go, to yeah, like just to what? You was, so. So wait. So, so what? When I was gonna say why you only have a problem when I have a problem? Yeah. How does that? Well, how do you feel like so that? So how happens? is the correlation? Is I don't really have a problem because my mind and it's kind of because I thought it was another mm -hmm. one too, but I don't have an issue with anything because my, my mind is so focused on work. Mm -hmm. So like I'm focused on mm -hmm. like getting it. Providing for my family, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to do what I gotta mm -hmm. do so me and my family can be good. So like, mm -hmm. I don't never really have an issue. But then, if I don't have an issue and you got an issue, it's like my nigga, I don't. So my my return issue is really not an issue. It's just I want to put it on the table so I can show you that yo, we doing the same thing. I don't have an issue, so you shouldn't have an issue, basically. So like, you you, you there? You good? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right. So <laughs> I'm just saying. So so it'll be like uh so like you'll bring up something like yo uh. Why the fuck you you did this? And I'll be like, my nigga, you do the same shit. I ain't tripping off of that. So that's that'll 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 make it look like I only have an issue when you got an issue. It's just I'm not worried about it because like I know you care for me. I care for you. I know you love me. You ain't here to hurt me. Da da da. I'm just trying to get this back so we can be good. And then in the end, we can come together. We can be a happy family. But then, um, so just to say to that, like you know, going to into you saying, you know, you got. I'm proud, I love you and stuff. Tons from your mom, right? Me, I got finances, but I never got I'm proud, I love yous and all those things from my mom, right? So for me, exactly like you said, like for you, so you always think we're good. Yeah. Like we don't, you don't have to say it because you've heard it so many times that like through your, your mom's parenting that you know you're good. So with me, you know you love me, like we're good. So you don't ever have like a problem because it's just like we're good, right? Mm -hmm. For somebody who doesn't hear those responses often, they're always looking for that for some type of reassurance to still feel connected, I guess. So it's like, you know, if I don't hear you love me often, or I don't hear you proud and you're too busy working and you're too busy doing these things, I am a little unsure and disconnected sometimes because yeah. then at that point, I don't know where we stand because you're always working. I don't know if you don't want to be in the house, if you just don't want to spend time with me, or if you're disconnecting and pulling away, if you just feel like you just don't want to be around. I wouldn't know because I didn't hear, I'm proud to be here. I love to be here. I love you, right? Because, again, like you said, that's where our love languages are formed since we're little. Like, you know what I mean? On the things like, you know, that's why I don't care about gifts, though. Like, I don't care about we not saying, up. hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm say, not saying, hold on, hold on. Say oh, no, whoa, 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 hold on. You cannot sit here and say, like, I care 100% about gifts because I'm never pressing down on no gifts. That's what you cannot say. What I'm, I'm never saying, say what I'm saying, gift, what, I'm, what I am saying is, no, of course, girls love gifts. Like, that's, you know, we're girls. Like, of course, we love flowers and we love, you know, gifts and surprises and random things like that. But that's not my love language. Right. Like, I'll be way more filled with affirmation con continuously. Just let me know you're here. I love you. We're in this together whatever those things a time spent quality time i completely don't need any gift if i get all of that and that fills me up that's how i am you mm. know what i mean so all that to say is so do you need both so, of them together though because well like the time and the affirmation because there's times where i gave you times but i guess it wasn't like a hundred percent of my I think attention people, i think people exactly because i think people get confused with time i think time is a complete check in like you're here like so whatever your time is spent it doesn't mean you can't be sitting here on your phone working if your time is supposed to be away from work to spend with me you can't mm -hmm. be sitting with me working or answering emails or calling your friends or that da -da -da. you can't be doing that and think because you're sitting here you're giving me time right a lot of times you're just here you're just i can see you you're physical in the form but you're not locked in mentally like i don't know where you are because you're not clearly not right here you're doing other things like so 
yeah, I think affirmation goes into time and quality time because, yeah, of course, like any girl, we wanted you to sit here. We want us to look at me in my eyes. Like, you right here say, I love you. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy you're my girlfriend. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad we're together. Tell me things you like about me. Tell me, you know what I'm saying? I think lock in. Like, and that's, that's I think what I that's, look at. And that's what like, comes rolling it back into why I have a problem when you have a problem. Because at that point, it's like, you'll say, like, we talk about this on the podcast. Instead of you saying, baby, you know I love you. You'll be like, you don't never tell me you love me. Like, and I'm like, my nigga, just say you love me. Like, you don't tell me you love me. You love me either. Yeah. So that's well, where the problem comes from. I, but I don't agree with that. I think there was like, for example, like, I feel like because like in that moment, I might have not said it, but there's been times I've said it to you first tons of times that you don't realize that you wasn't saying it to me first because I'm introducing it. Right. So now when I'm asking you for like, yo, you don't even tell me love you. It's like, just say it. But it's like, you don't even realize that I've been saying it. Like, and you, you're lacking on saying it of why I'm asking you to say it. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? And that's just not even just like, well, I love you. That's just what, with anything, like, you know what I'm saying? There's times like, for example, like you're running out the door, like you forget to give me a kiss. I'm like, you ain't even kissed me. Like, but you don't realize that every time I leave out the door, I kiss you. I'm not saying this is an so, issue. I'm giving no, an no, example. Why don't you just like, be like, babe, give me a kiss instead of saying you ain't even kiss me. Because I think for anybody, it's one of those things like, we don't like we want what we give like so something like i don't want to have to tell you the minute i have to ask you for it i don't even want it because it's just like we want the person and i'm not saying it's right no, i'm saying it's we want the person to just want to do it you want to love me like you want to give me a kiss you want to tell me i love you we want it from you we don't want to ask you for it because that means you you're not thinking about it. we want you to think about it like mm. we want you to think like damn i love her like you know what i'm saying and not to say y'all don't think like that we want you to express that like we want you to say these things i personally think that goes into a, a lot of men uh actually deal with that and i just think that goes into just men being more um, emotionally unavailable than females are like i feel like that's something that you know because boys are always don't cry don't you know what i'm saying suck it up if you got it like be quiet like you know what i'm saying they're so used to shunning down emotions even as they get older, I feel like it carries into relationships so, as well. No, so you're right. So, but I'm looking at things that how can we help this, right? And even though you're, so what? My first statement is you are right, and just because you do that, I understand that you acknowledge that it don't make it right that you do that, right? Because you, we just as humans, we want what we give, right? But at the same time, the only way we can move forward if, is if we get better. So instead of you saying, "Damn, you won't even kiss me," next time you be like, "Bay." Give me a kiss before you leave the house. You know what I'm saying? Where's the compromise, though? So I think so. It has to be a compromise because that's, so, that that works for you. That doesn't work nah, for I, the other person. Right. So though. I like, think you know, that I just think the works compromise, in your favor. Nah, nah, it works in our favor because what happens is if you say that, right, it helps me understand that because you have the repetition. Sometimes you got to do things. I forgot the amount of days they say to, to make a habit, right? 21. So, yeah, 21 days. So if, if 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 this is not a habit, instead of pointing a finger at me saying, maybe you got to say, before you leave the house, you got to say, hey, give me a kiss. Always give me a kiss before you leave the house 21 days so I can get in a habit. The compromise comes into, this is our relationship. You want our relationship to go well, I want our relationship to go well. After 21 days, hypothetically, or after your, whatever you deem is um, your breaking point, if you do it for that long and you you put the time in, then you can be like, look, yo, this is this is, this is is not I working. just want to know, what are you willing to go 21 days on doing straight? Whatever I have to to make our relationship. All right. Work. Well, I just want to make sure that's clear. Well, why I think does that's that have to be the response? Because, that, because, because this is why I'm gonna tell you. Because I think oftentimes people want things that they cannot deliver themselves. So unless you've done that before and you know that you can heavily do something that you have not done for like 21 days straight to make it a point to be there for your relationship. And if you didn't do that, then I don't know. Damn, that cold hard as shit. I need one of them. So my thing. Is I better got a small in that thing. Nah. Oh no, nah. oh, Maya got a breakdown. She been asking, she been asking for no, she was time. though. She has been asking. So, Milani in the building. Yeah. Milani the brand in the building. Yeah. So, so my thing is, all right. So, it's like, where, where, where we at? You can text it. <clears throat> so my thing is, I feel like it jumps. That jumps straight into the negative. Like it goes straight into. Well, are you are you willing to um 
No, I just think that's a fair question because nobody wants to be doing something that's not going to be delivered for them either. That's not how that works. It's, it's, it's at the same time, if we're not both doing the work, yeah, it's a reassurance that we both are going to be willing to do that. And if you've never done it before and you're going to ask me to do it, yeah, it's a problem because I'm like, just so, let me know. Like, so you you doing that too. Like, or let's so pick something together that we're both going to work to. All right, so maybe and that's to me maybe a I compromise. Got... Don't say, well, you should do it this way. Or let's do it together. What is, right. There's something that I don't like that you so do. Maybe... So we're both going to do right. it together. Okay. Period. <laughs> so ma maybe I got the the definition in my eyes of love wrong because I feel like when you love somebody, you're willing to be the example for them to help your partner out. So like if you was to ask me that question, I wouldn't say, well, are you willing to do it? The first thing I'm going to say is, you know what? I can do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, but you I'm, don't know that because you've never done it. What you mean? You you said I will do that, but you don't know that because you've never done it. So I'm if you, you if you tell me so word of bond, man of my word, if you tell me I'm gonna do that for 21 days and you only do it for three and then you forget on the fourth day, now we have another Babe, issue because you're right. you're, you're, you're saying things that you don't know that you can do. You're right. Not. Now let's roll it back in. I didn't. I'm not talking about past that day. I said that if you ask me, if you say, "Yo, are you willing to do this for 21 days?" My response would be, "Yeah, I'm willing to do that. I can try that." My response wouldn't I'm be willing. Okay. My, you, you see the difference? I'm just saying that's that's I that's think that's yours, but just because right, I'm making a difference doesn't no, make I'm, mine's wrong or right. The first though. thing I said in the conversation was maybe my definition of love might be wrong. Like I, like that's again, it's like I, I that, feel that to be a little condescending when you say it that way. No, I'm, I'm saying just telling that I'm okay. you that's how I felt it. So, that's so, how I took it. All right, because you're like, I mean, maybe my definition of <clears throat> love right, wrong. Because if it was me, listen, I'd do it like this. And I'm like, listen, first you, of all, if you said, if you said, we just working on it. Like, right? If you say that. That's how you took it. I can't be. I can't be upset how you took it. Mm -hmm. What I'm telling you though is, I'm just saying that it might be off, but that's what I would have done because I might just don't have it all the way right. It might be the other way. It might should be the other way around. So like, I'm only willing to give you fifty if you want to meet me the other halfway, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's maybe that's the case. But I'm saying from my experience, I look at it the other way. But that's I'm not it. saying. But I never <clears> said that it takes fifty fifty. I'm just saying when it comes to working on things and especially a compromise on something you don't do that I want to do and what I want to do, I think we both have those issues. And I feel like if we're gonna talk about them, you're like, how do we fix it? Then let's both fix something that we're both gonna work on. Don't tell somebody, well, you could do it this way. Maybe this will work better for you, you know, without your support. Uh, but I'm gonna do this too. So you know what I'm saying? So we're doing something together. So we're working together. So I don't think it's action, like a fifty fifty. I'm gonna say when you left somebody you love somebody you'll do a hundred even if they don't do nothing but what right. i'm saying is when it comes to a problem that we're working on in the relationship and this is something that you don't do but you're asking me to do it another way because that's what you want i think that's a time where we both do something together let's both hand in hand walk the journey together to fix the process not just say well you should try it this way and maybe it'll work for you i don't know but it might work you don't know you never I, did I don't it. think i said that though but I you said, don't you but because to... It, do, it doesn't matter. The, okay, willing and logistics to me are two separate things. Because one thing I do know is that you never done it before. Right. Okay. That's 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 not that's not hypothetical. That's a fact. But so I'm if you've so... never done it, whether you're willing or not, and you never done it, the fact is you don't know if you can do that or not. So let's try it together. Right. So that's all that's, I'm saying. I'm, again, I feel like our conversation be getting like going off tangent. It's my, not. My thing, we talked about. I said we were talking about a, a very specific topic. Okay, right? but top we both went left right, and right. So, so, so to go go wait, back there to you, me, that's stupid. Listen, like you, like we were, we're going left and right. So what? We've been doing that the whole podcast. All right, Shade. Like I'm just it, saying. Okay, just let me get my point out. Like that's all I'm trying to say. So we like we were talking it's too about much testosterone in this room. I need some more. What? I need some women in here. All right. So Somebody we might call Brittany down because I'm about to get high. All right. So what I'm again I'm trying to say my topic again, right? So we're talking about a very particular thing, a very specific thing, right? The specific thing were, was woman, we, the question was, why does men have an issue when women have an issue, right? Right, and I we went, came from this topic through your topic. I'm about to we go into right, it, but I, again, I can't finish my, my statement No, don't again. make it seem like you can't. I'm just I'm saying that to... we've been going left and right because you brought my topic in on something that I wasn't even going to bring my right. topic in on by, but you did it because that's what you wanted to do. Babe. So what I'm saying is if we've been doing that, don't say, well, we've been going left and right, so let's go back. Like, no, we've been doing it. You brought my topic in for me. You ain't even let me say it. He was like, you know, because I'm talking about this. So doesn't this tie in? I was like, no, it really doesn't. But okay, tell me how. Right. That's how we got there. Right. So no? I'm trying to like let All you right. know how I think we got there, but you won't tell you won't All let right. me tell you how I think we got All there. All right, though. go ahead, Jack. So again, so do what you do. we were talking about how men only have an issue when women have an issue, right? Okay. And I gave you a specific example of how how you might say, yo, why don't you why aren't you giving me a kiss today? Or like before you leave. 
Why are you not kissing? That's me? not how we got there, but okay. All right, well, but that's oh, okay. But like, now it's now it's well, you know, that's not how we got there. Right. That's not how we got there. So it went from that topic to that topic. So, but to me, it all ties in. So I'm like, that was an example of why I might have a problem when you have a problem. Okay. So the problem was the problem for a woman would be, yo, why aren't you giving me a kiss before you leave? That gives me a problem of yo. Instead of you saying, why don't you give me a kiss before you leave? Why don't you just say, give me let, let's give me a kiss. Instead of making it an issue, like, why don't you give me a kiss? Why don't you just be like, babe, give me a kiss? Like, that's, so that, that was the issue. And then I was going into, like, do you think that instead of, that's a negative, that's, I think that's, that's bringing something negative to the table. And we all know two negatives don't make a positive. So instead of giving a negative with a negative, why not just be like, yo, babe, give me a kiss? And if you do that for 21 days, because that's how many, that's how long it takes to form a habit, then maybe after that, because you said, you said, when is the compromise? I'm like, maybe the 21 days can be the compromise, because after that, then... We have, a, we have a habit, or we supposed to have a form of a habit of me giving you a kiss before I leave. So now, at the 21 days, if I don't give you a kiss before, before I leave, now it could be an issue. But until you try to help it, instead of meeting it with a negative, why not meet it with a positive? And I asked you that, and the first thing you said was, well, are you willing to do that? And I'm like, that's it. Like, that's it. But that's how I think it transcended. But that's it. Like, I'm good. If, if next time, it should be like, all right, yo, whatever is something that I don't do, I think I could try this for 21 days and then are you willing to do that for 21 days? Because that's what I'm getting from it. Instead of like pointing a finger as it might look like, approach it with something I can do too, I guess, right? That's what you're saying? No, but it's okay. What are you saying? <laughs> I, no, because I feel like you just twisted that whole thing. Because that's just not how that went, Jay. Like that's not how that went. But to answer your question, what I'm trying to tell you is if I it went into our love languages and how they're formed <laughs> from childhood in yeah. our parenting. That's that how was, it came yeah, up. Yeah. And because we were talking about love languages and we have discussed that that's my love language, right? So for me to constantly have to go out my way to ask you for my love language is also a hassle for me. Yeah. So if I'm going out my way to get you to to get the love that I the way I love to go for 21 days I said I think that's something that we should be doing hand in hand together don't tell me to try to form the habit of doing it different when I love this way right you know what I'm saying let's we both love different so let's do it together that's what I said no I, I didn't say that. anything about none of that other shit I said Baby, like I said, you said are you willing to do that are we both willing to do that yes are you because you've never if you're gonna offer me to do something and you've never done it I think that we do need to be doing that hand in hand because you don't even know if I could do 20, something or 21 days that I don't even, you know, I'm not even doing. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, that's what I said. Then we need to do it together. That's period. Like, so whatever way that is, whatever. Trending topics? <laughs> you funny. ready? You a character. No, you a character. What, what we want to talk about? What you want to talk about? Um, I guess, sure. The Aaron Hernandez, Aaron Hernandez shit? Which one do you want to start with? Oh, just man. go ahead. And sh- the Gemini know. show. What? Today. Man, you be on some bullshit. Like I swear, like I wish people could see the the condes- the condescending shit do. that you, you do. Can what? They can. All right, so you you want to talk about? Let's choose one, or what's the most? What do you want to talk about the most? Um, honestly, I like power, but I ain't really feeling power. Od, like who the fuck shot ghosts? Like I'm really tired of this, so I don't really. That's not the. It's not the highlight of my weekend or nothing. So, what about this Aaron Hernandez shit? Now, this Aaron Hernandez shit is really, really crazy. Shit crazy. So, I just don't even know where to start with him because, one, I just think this is the craziest thing because he was such a great athlete. Like, the nigga was really talented. So, to be this How talented whole, was he? Very. Go ahead. I'm about to end this podcast right here. Exactly, because you asked me because you wanted me to say it so bad. You act like I was on his You could have been like, he yo, that's so another thing. Great. You could have been like, I didn't, he was, I was all right. like, He was so great. The nigga, look at him run. Oh, my God. I didn't do none of that. That's I the bullshit he was a great between athlete. women and men. If I ask you that, you give me what I want. He wasn't at all. He wasn't all that. I gave you what you wanted. You wanted to be like, he's nah, great. Go he, ahead, go, that's go what ahead, he really wanted. No, <laughs> he wanted. No, yes, no, you no, did. No, no. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He wasn't that great, babe. You was a way better football nah, player. No, nah, no, nah, no. Fuck sure. it. Fuck it. NFL should have hired you. For sure. Morgan See? fucked up. You could have said sent that. You to Florida. But now it's over. Now, I mean, fuck they it. They should have sent you to You could feed a nigga ego. But no, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You would have looked way better playing with Tim Tebow. Facts. You got it. Go ahead. Facts. It's too late now. All that to say, I just think it's crazy because this nigga really, I heard he was a blood. Like, it's that's where all that stuff came from and the killings and the drugs and him being with the drug dealers is because he supposedly was a blood. How are you an NFL player 
in out here gangbanging that Easy. don't even easy like but like where's the time like you don't have to well have i mean time. clearly he found time but like this is a that like, i mean once you initiate it you're always initiated like, i could be a q and i can that's my old life and then next so you, you know q, so you're gonna compare fraternity to gangs yeah you can it's an organization would you would you would you would y'all be okay saying that no, calling saying, yourselves no, gang? No, I never said we were isn't gang. Isn't that why y'all isn't your chapter suspended because y'all a gang? What? I'm just no. Saying, I don't know what the fuck going on. No, like I don't know what's like, going yeah. on because like should be wild. I said we can we can <laughs> we can compare the two. But I, I y'all can't call that a, y'all not supposed to call that a gang. I never called it a gang. I said we can compare right, the I'm two. Just saying, all right, like bro. you're reaching so hard. I, I, I'm not reaching. I'm I said, being dead ass. And like, you see, I ain't never looked that way because I'm I'm being having a serious I'm, conversation. But I'm, I'm asking. No, for I'm, the, saying, I'm really asking. I'm saying we can compare the two. All right, fair. We can. Are you they, sure? Yes, we but can. But y'all don't have to. Okay, but you don't gotta go put in work like the streets, like for, you know fraternity y'all might gotta go community stuff but like y'all don't go killing just niggas. because you compare something don't mean that everything has to be the same as a comparison me, but it has it don't, truth it has falseness like you can compare I, all i said was you but, can compare the two i, I didn't facts, say that but i think facts do alter comparisons because i think at the end of the day yeah it's a gang and it's a fraternity those are facts so clearly that's not a comparison because it's a gang but guess what they're they both organizations not, not that's about, a comparison yeah, I'm not, but if we're talking about kappas and q's we can compare because they're both fraternities we're not talking if we're talking about crips and bloods those compare because they're both gangs but now we go blood to frater- to q that's not a comparison all right cool you right you got it am i tripping yeah but i'm tripping you are all right cool i'm telling you but it's like you all wouldn't right. understand it it's fine it's okay all right fine you know so i ain't pledged on all right so so Period. what else mm-hmm. you saying? so all i'm saying is I just think it's crazy because he was this star player. He had everything going for him. Uh, he was playing for the Patriots. They signed him on some crazy ass deal, and yet and still, he just found it himself to still go that way. Like, why? Well, like, what's up with that? Like, just celebrities in general. I'm having a hard time. Like, even like you watch it, like Pop Smoke getting arrested. You know, Bobby Schmurder, YMW Melly, fucking the baby still and shit. It's like. Does niggas not realize like this bag is a once in a lifetime? Like y'all made it out to get this bag, mm-hmm. and then y'all going right back. Like it don't make sense. No, that's a great. Um, it analogy. don't make sense to me. No, it doesn't. And I feel like, um, I so don't say it. I, I just, don't even care for real. <laughs> no, I just feel like you never know that certain situations happen that it leads to that. Because again, what we talking about like your childhood. Your childhood past, yeah. things you, you you see when you growing up. So I don't know. He might be at a club, and because he hasn't, because because he haven't uh, dealt with being able to being able to uh, shit deal with conflict, yeah. he might handle it in a different, different way because he he's not he's not used to dealing with it, right? Um, but I think that I feel like when I looked at it, the thing that I didn't like was just the just. This emphasis on him being gay. Yeah, that's And I'm like, this man is y'all. dead. I'm like, I understand it's a part of the story. And I just feel like, I don't think that had to be in it. That's so I think thing. the nigga who came out, like, who was with his father, I think he's just a crazed, amazed fan with Aaron. I think he's lying. He's trying to get a show. Yeah, to I think he's club chasing. Show. That's my opinion. Getting a nigga I from, think, uh, I think he's definitely trying to get a show. Like, he's dragged that the, on. The nigga from, um, <laughs> the nigga from Fire Festival got his own show when he was like, <laughs> <laughs> he was willing to do whatever he had to do to, to get the awards or some shit like that. What was it? I uh, forgot the, the, the white nigga name. Yeah, the no, dude. yeah, yeah. No, I remember. He's trying to get a show like that. I just, honestly, when I was watching it, I thought it was crazy. Then when we got to the gay stuff, I really just was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, like, what are they doing right now? Like, and just to be honest, none of that's facts. I think like, even like all the documentaries, like even the R. Kelly things, like that, I think certain things just need to be left out if you cannot prove it. Like, right. like you cannot, because that's really tarnishing somebody's inner, you know, whole name and legacy. Like he has a daughter now, she's gonna wake up to, you know, of them calling her dad gay. Like, come on, like, and y'all don't know that to be fact. You got this fucking gay team player he had, but who the fuck knows? He could be fucking lying. We don't know. We weren't there. Like, we have no idea. Then to just speculate that in jail he had some former lover. Like what? How do you know? Like yeah, that's the only thing like, I didn't it's just like. like I, I really didn't like that. I thought they could have left that out, but I think that also that helped them support some type of dark past 
thing they was trying to put in the play of why he was killing. I don't think Aaron was killing because he was gay, bro. Right. That's like niggas, niggas is gay every day. Niggas is not killing niggas just because they're gay. Like right. that's just not that's just not what's happening. So so to try to play that or portray that like he's just running from his dark past and he's offended by anybody. Like even when the nigga he killed that he did get charged with, not the two double double homicides, but he was like they probably had a talk about him being gay. How the fuck did y'all just put that <laughs> whole scenario in play of that's why he get that man killed that man because he brought up or knew him being gay. Like we don't know that. Like you know what I mean. So no, that, that's the only thing. What about know. that drug dealer that he was running with that was on stand? All right, so as I watched it, it made more sense because I guess um, at first I'm like, yo, why the fuck is you on stand snitching this nigga? And then I seen that uh, they, how they try to flip it. Yeah, I, I guess they got into some shit or whatever the case may be. And I'm like, all right, I guess that makes sense. Like, but at first I wasn't fucking with it, but then I'm like, I mean, niggas right. That's when niggas right every day. Niggas gay every day. It's just yeah. It's always some wild shit. So going do you think this? Anyway. Do you think this documentary is like necessary? I don't think a lot of these documentaries aren't necessary, but I but mean, but you know, there's like like five of them. Like it's not even that wasn't even the only one. They got like five different ones oh, nine of Aaron Hernandez. No, it nine. doesn't even make sense. Like like I get the story. Like don't get it fucked up. Like I get it. Like this is definitely like a wild story, but like is it like necessary? <sighs> to make it depends this? on who you. I think it was it was important for the fact that they mm -hmm. talked about uh, two things: the um the the traumatics or. The medical things that happen with your brain playing football, one. And number two is the law that they had in Connecticut. Yeah. I think that was uh that was two important things that came from it. So I heard that law didn't stick though. No, they um changed it. What? They she got the, the parent the the parent of oh what was it? Yeah, name? yeah, they, that's what I'm saying. It didn't stick. So like uh uh, Lloyd, I think his name was. Yeah, but that's history now. We know that. Yeah. So now that's a part of our history that yeah. we know. So I feel yeah. like that was an important. important so did part. you see the part that like he, uh, Aaron, suffered tremendously from what is it? C C T E, the I, brain. I literally just said that. Oh, I thought you said about the law. I said two things. No, no, but I'm saying okay. What I'm saying is that he suffered the most. Like he's like the youngest player who had yeah. it that severe. Yeah. Is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. So they also portrayed that that could be a reason because it does lead to delusional to irrational behavior to all these things of leading to up until what he does do you think that might have played a part in it i definitely had a part but um see i play football and i feel like i didn't like that part either i didn't like how they try to make it seem like football caused him to do all this crazy shit because there's a lot of niggas that one had cte probably still has cte is a lot of football players that that go through this on a daily, but ain't these niggas ain't killing people. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So not saying that it, it ain't have a yeah. part to play in it. Yeah. But we can't just put that on football. Like, yeah. come on. Like cut this it's yeah. niggas that's 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 boxing that might got C T E that's yeah. fucking doing UFC. Yeah. We ain't about to They're not killing niggas. Yeah, we ain't about to put that well, on. Well, R. I. P. Aaron Hernandez. R. I. P. man, uh wish his his family. And his daughter. Yeah. The best pretty little life. girl. Yeah. Um, we out? What was that? Yeah, I mean that's it. That's all you wanna talk about? You all right today? I'm straight, right? No, oh, give me a second. Oh, give me a second. All right. Episode 010, Gemini Scorpio Podcast. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube, subscribe on Anchor, subscribe on Apple Podcasts, uh, Google fucking Google Play, all Spotify. Of them. All of them. All that shit. Healer Bay, Mr. J Hill, Gemini Scorpio Podcast. We out. We out.